Welcome back to the Awkward Tapes, the Awkward Podcast, where awkward friends have awkward conversations about awkward things. And we yep. do. So I just want to give a little Easter egg here. Sorry to stump on your little stump. intro. Um, go back to the last episode. Layton put his hand on me about 18 times because his hands were cold. Yeah. Not because he loves me. No, no, viewer. It's because he was cold. Yeah. In his heart and his body. Yeah. So now I'm going to touch you even more because I know you love Thanks. it. Thanks. Appreciate it. This is the only physical Ooh. contact I get. Warm. That's... You know, if I saw Clifford, <laughs> um, Cliff, if, Clifford. If, if I saw Clifford the dog in Red Life. Red Life? In Red Life? Restart. Real Life. <laughs> Start over. If I saw Clifford the dog in real life, I'd probably shoot to kill. Is that your Presley thought? Yep. So what, are you going to... You're gonna taxidermy it. I, I stand behind that. Come what? On with Clifford. What? What would you do if you saw a dog taller than this building? Run? I would be so excited. Run. If he wasn't friendly, I would run. Well, then you know, just let him take over. Run. Let him take over. I would run. He can't. He can't take over. He can't take over. Exactly. We can't, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we can't let it's that happen. Thank it's not you. A thank you. It's Clifford. I think y'all are crazy. He might accidentally kill someone once a year and step on them wrong. Yeah. But that's a risk we're willing to take. But it's the same thing as, like, you know, those morons at Yellowstone who get, you know, killed by a bison because they're taking a selfie. Sure. The exact same thing. Exact, exact same, same There's thing. No, no, difference. Di- no difference. No difference No difference. But no, so you're just saying that if you saw Clifford in real life, no hesitation... You're shooting shot. Clifford oh, on shoot, site. Shoot to clip. Shoot, <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot to clip. Shoot to clip. <laughs> shoot to clip. Shoot to, shoot clip to, it, chat. I'm, clip it. I'm going to Zach's house. I'm getting the super soaker. <laughs> shoot to kill. Oh, shoot man. to kill. Oh, gosh. This is, man, what did Clifford... Okay. I can't talk. Uh, why did you... <laughs> so, why did you choose that as your Presley thought? Like, well, not even just choose. How did you come up with that and why? Because typically yours are something like, oh, well, you know, they're called steps like this way, but stairs. Stairs another way. Uh, Yeah, and here you're just like, I want to kill Clifford. This should tell you even more about how strongly I feel about this. When I was a kid, I slept with a little red dog, like a, a stuffed animal. I remember Did you him. want to kill that? No. Does coffee bring your country out? What's going on right now? Yeah. Okay. It must. I didn't even notice it I was must. doing that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be honest. In a very Theo <laughs> mood. Yeah, we just listened to Theo Vaughn before. Maybe we that's started. what it that's is. It's actually. I mean, that's how we hype ourselves up. It's that's funny of, how. Yeah. It's kind of the standard. Like at family reunions and stuff or oh holidays. Oh my. When gosh. I start hearing the accent, yeah. I yep. think I start doing it. Yeah. Even oh, yeah. if you don't realize it, you start picking up on it. You realize it. it. And it's realize funny, too, because like, it's very natural for human beings and stuff. But I agree with Presley here. Anytime yeah. I'm around family, that's when it comes out the worst. Yeah. Nope. It's true, because we mimic uh, how other people present themselves. Same with body language. Yeah. Like, you'll yeah. notice that when you're engaged with someone, you're you know mar- about to be married. That's what I obviously mean. Right. Engaged. Uh, yeah, engaged. That's when no, you that care about what people think, is that moment. Not any sooner. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, like you'll just mimic them yeah, in terms of their body language. See, yeah, 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 yeah. Their uh-huh. body language. Uh-huh. Well, exactly. what's really funny to me is that I can pretty easily tell when and where someone's engaged in a conversation. What I mean by where is by where they're looking and where their feet are pointing. And if, if you're like standing in a homeschool circle, if you will, you know, sure. how those, an oval. An oval, yeah. Um, like just notice where people have their like whole body pointed towards. That's yeah, who they're really trying really. to talk to. Yeah. See, that water this makes bottle. it hard for us to have a conversation. <laughs> right. I think, sorry. Isn't one that these, right, Layton? One of these days, I want you all to st- sit on the end and see how weird it is. My whole world changed when it was just me and Shmev, and I sat right there. Yeah. yeah. It was a whole it's new perspective. Different. I feel a little different right now. I feel like there's a spotlight on me. Yeah. 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 Smile. I'm used to always being on the edge. Why do you think that is, though? Why do, we think, uh, why do you think that uh, you change your character based on who you're around? To be accepted. More likable. Why do you yeah. need to be liked? I don't know. Everyone it's a wants basic human need. Yeah, everyone wants to be liked. That's kind of true. I f- Except for then you have the people who are like, they have to go against the mainstream no matter what. So they're like, yeah. oh, well, I hate being liked. But yeah. see, then but there's then, a group of people that they associate with. And they want to be liked yeah. by and that they person. they want to be liked by oh, that exactly. person. Oh, no, it actually is the uh, 
the whole group thing. I mean, have you guys? Look, I learned this so much in school, which I don't know why, but I'm gonna bring it up here just because I learned so much. Have you guys heard of like the Maslow uh, like hierarchy or like uh, no. triangle of whatever it's called the Ma- Maslow hierarchy of needs, whatever it is, and no. it actually goes into like what people need. Uh, like first, it's I forget what it is. Like first, it's like psychological needs or whatever, and then it's like safety, then it's like acceptance or whatever. I forget exactly what it is, but it actually was kind of interesting, and it kind of breaks that down. Wow, Maslow hierarchy of needs. I I think that's what it's called. Interesting. Sounds like a Jordan Peterson thing. Just hearing it from the outside, it probably is. (laughs) I started listening to him a lot more. Yeah, careful. Great advice. (laughs) That dude is crazy. Crazy? Yeah. Like how crazy good? Just or? yeah, uh, how yeah. intellectual okay. he is. Yeah. I saw something the other day that he's almost very smart. Yeah. When you you know when you hear something the first time, it, it, yeah. like a lot of the stuff I say, yeah. Sometimes it's not necessarily wrong. You just don't like the way I say it. <laughs> what? Sometimes, oh, not always. I know what you mean? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I, I do that too. I'll say something very poorly, but I feel like. What I'm trying to say is right. I'm just not yeah. able to use the right words to get oh, it across. Yeah. Well, this was one of those moments where I thought he was being an idiot. But I saw a clip of him saying, don't assume that you know how to think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember it's that. like, well, I don't know what to think of that. Yeah, I don't know. Are you good? Okay. Yeah, we're just adjusting. Oh, we're just a little tangled. Yeah. No, you remember this situation, don't you, Presley? I do. I do. Yeah. When I was sitting there yeah. a month ago. Different yeah. experience. But no, it's... Jordan Peterson's just a really interesting mind. He has so many cool different things and just a lot of interesting thoughts. But oh, doesn't he have like a series about Exodus from the Bible? Even though, like, I believe he's I not so. a Christian though. I, he's converted. Is he though? He is now. I don't think he publicly says because he thinks it's like a private thing. Okay. Oh. I think it, I Maybe don't, don't quote case, me though. on that. I mean, but I'm pretty okay. Sure. I I forgot. I I don't know because I, I don't really. It seemed like he know. used to. From what I've heard of him, it seems like he used to not be, but he mm. kind of is. But he's just not publicly said, like what he is. You know? Okay. But I don't. Huh. Know. I That's don't a know. good point. I think he, at a minimum, takes a lot of. Uh, yeah, at minimum, he yeah. appreciates. Like, there's a lot to get from the Bible, regardless yeah, of if you even believe it. Yeah, not, yeah. And There's listening to, to those, that he actually has studied it in great depth. I tell you, yeah. he's Canadian as heck, though. Oh, um, yeah. A boot. A boot. A boot. boot. Some of his pronunciations. <laughs> a boot. Pronunciations. Not at all. At all. Is that Canadian? Canadian? <laughs> Is that your Canadian? Oh, oh. Well, that's what like he says, like. Not sounds at like, all. Sounds, sounds at all. like a southern person trying to say oil. Oh, that's kind of, kind of what it's like. Yeah. Y'all need to listen to this one guy who does all the Im- impersonations. He does Gary V. He also does one of Jordan Peterson. Yeah. It is spot on. Huh. So have you guys seen? This is a little bit change of topic, but have you guys seen the videos to where they edit it and dub? Well, not really dub it over, but to where they edit it to where uh, it will be like Jordan Peterson versus Jordan Peterson. Yes, really. I it's yes. so funny. Layton knows what I'm talking about. To where I forget what it was, but it will be like Jordan Peterson, like on the Joe Rogan podcast, for example. And it'll take like two different times he was on the mm-hmm. Joe Rogan podcast. And what they'll do is that because it, when you're on two episodes of the Joe Rogan podcast, what is that like six, seven hours? You're probably mm-hmm. talking to. Joe Rogan, yeah. because I mean those episodes are long. Yeah. So then they had it to where it was they took different clips and it was Jordan Peterson debating Jordan Peterson on just random <laughs> different things. It's actually a really funny video. That's funny. You should, you guys should. I forget the exact title of it. And there's a few videos, not all of them are mm-hmm. funny, but there's mm-hmm. at least one I'm thinking of, and it's very funny. Oh, that was good. All three of us. <laughs> like, we oh, that, really wow, wow. that was great. All right. All right go we'll start the, this way. Go we'll down work the line. our way down. Okay. okay. All right. Just, just hold your thought. Okay. All right. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I was going to say, I love finding videos like that of people contradicting each other in different points in time and not realizing it. Like someone contradicting themselves. Like I saw this one that I, I just thought was funny. It was Biden and it was in like forever ago. I mean, like. Like, he looked really young, and he was like, I think marriage should be between a man and a woman, and states need to respect that. that. And then later he said, I'm gay. (laughs) 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 And I know it was a stutter, but it was still funny hearing it. (laughs) Oh, gosh, no, that that is funny. Well, this wasn't as much as Jordan Peterson necessarily contradicting himself. It was more just like a comedy, like, yeah, um, yeah, going back and forth between it. it, it, Like, it would be something to where, like, you're miserable, you're pathetic, this is why you don't have a girlfriend, like, whatever else. But it will be like, they take the clip from Jordan Peterson talking about, like, this is why, because it will be like, 
oh, men are really depressed. This is why they're depressed. And they'll go into yeah. reasons for it. And they'll be like, this is why you feel pathetic, worthless, whatever else. Yeah. But then it will, they'll just take the part where it's like, you're pathetic, worthless, ugly. And then yeah. the other Jordan will come back and be like, you don't have a job. What are you doing? And then, yeah. and then yeah. it will just be like back and so forth. So it's like a legit conversation. It is. Yeah. yeah. They cut it. That's actually what I was going to say. And they'll do that with different people. Yeah. And like w one of my favorites is it's Joe Rogan. And he's having a conversation with Ben Shapiro, oh. and they're gay for each other. And they're like, no. it, is, it is one of the funniest videos ever. I'll play it for y'all oh, after. That's great. That's I love awesome. Joe Rogan's laugh. Please do that. Dude, it is good. It's hilarious. Also, you, you know what I didn't... <laughs> Here. Like, so just yeah. Here, Presley, hold on to that thought for just one second, because I was just going to say, I love how when it comes to the Joe Rogan podcast, I watched this, I don't watch many, but I watched this episode with Neil deGrasse Tyson a long time ago, oh. and I love how when you pointed it out, you yeah. pointed out how yeah. Neil yeah. interrupted Joe so often, and how there would be clips of Joe yeah. Rogan, yeah. and he's just like getting slightly more annoyed um, yeah. with like each one, because <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson just keeps interrupting him yeah we're playing just because like <laughs> yeah, he's just like <laughs> and he doesn't even catch on he keeps yeah. doing it you know Schmeb was telling me the other day about a podcast he was listening to with theo vaughn i think it was on theo's podcast yeah. and the other guy like wouldn't let him talk at all mm. he mentioned that in some video recently huh. but interesting who all do y'all like look to listen to Mostly Joe. Joe Rogan is a really? really good one. Those are some long podcasts. You, oh, to me, know, you have yeah. to break them down to segments. Yeah. Plus, at least yeah. for me, I'm bad to where I don't want to watch if I don't know who the guest is. Yeah. Most of the yeah. Time. Like, I'm kind of... It's and at a, least as of yeah. late, I feel like there hasn't been very many people that I recognize or know. Theo yeah. was on. Theo was on. This past week. Oh, he was, oh this, I yeah. haven't checked this week, so I guess he was on it. Dude. But, uh Oh, it's it's really funny. wow. Do you want I think one of the craziest interviews I've ever seen was the Theo Vaughn's hot one interview. Have I you still got, need to watch that? That one okay. I if didn't we're know he did if that. we're all hanging out later today, we are watching that. Okay. We are. It's only like twenty ish minutes, something like that. Yeah. And I rarely watch hot ones, but I need to watch way more because I love them. <laughs> it's this one with Theo Vaughn, I don't know why. It's so just like normal Theo Vaughn just it feels extra maybe it's just because I'm the only one at the table that actually doesn't really listen to Theo Vaughn I have nothing against him I just don't yeah. really listen to him okay. but uh, it's it's beautiful well, what am I? some of the stuff he says is mind numbing but oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of, my favorite clip is still I tried to find it the other day and I couldn't find it but it was it's the one about the French people I oh. love that clip so much oh. just a French dude man yeah. no it's not that one he's like you put like 60 French people in front of me and I don't like him. That's it. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's this super long delay, and he's just like, "Yeah, I don't like the French." Yeah. <laughs> just I don't like, like them. spray paint your hand red, white, and blue, and just pat, pat him on the back, <laughs> boy, <laughs> boy. Oh man! But some of my favorites are uh, like Jordan Peterson has been on there, and they're really interesting, yeah. like yeah. conversing. And but the other one that's been my favorite, and I can't remember, but it's these two people. It's a guy and a girl, and they have a podcast, but they're complete opposites politically. And the whole point of the podcast sounds interesting, actually. Yeah, it is. The whole point of the podcast is to like show people, like, hey, we believe completely different things. Let's not focus on what we don't like and just try yeah. to compromise. Yeah, let's not hate each other and think that the other yeah. one is a terrorist, horrible person. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. Th and that's what was cool to me. And Joe Rogan saw that, obviously, and got him on. And they talked about a wide range of stuff. So, oh, yeah. breaking yeah. points. What? Breaking points with Crystal and Sager. Oh yeah, that's it. Is yeah. that it? That's it. Yeah, I listen to them. That is so good. Yeah, they're good. It's very interesting. You Have should I listen seen? to it. I think so. Okay, yeah. I'll have to listen to that. That's a very interesting dynamic. And they work well yeah, together too. I don't think they ever really. Yeah, I don't really know how much they really are opposites because they really seem to agree on a lot of stuff. But I think just people in general, yeah. they agree on more than what we realize. Oh, like even, I think so, yeah. We just point out all the things that we don't, and then we get so upset and mad <laughs> over it. Yeah, but yeah. even like the vast majority of people, like we agree on a, 
a lot of the same stuff. Well, you even look at, I mean, I'm just going to use Joe Rogan because we're already talking about him. But you look at someone like Joe Rogan to where a lot of people nowadays, it's like, oh, like maybe it used to be some beforehand, but no, he's like very much on the right, so conservative with all this different stuff. (laughs) And I mean, on some point, sure. But if you actually listen to him talk, I mean, he's a Bernie Sanders supporter. Like he voted for Bernie Sanders in the past, which... For those of you who don't know, not exactly a conservative. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. No. yeah, not, not yeah. exactly. So it's yeah. just like even with that, it's just so interesting to where people will believe or people will believe different things. But like you said, we yeah. actually agree on more than we think. We just focus on these fringe issues. And then when somebody else has a different opinion, we're just like, mm. oh, that person's dead to me. That person's a horrible yeah. person. Well, not even that. It's more so. Well, yeah, as much as I agree with that, I think also the media in a way, oh, yeah. on, on, on the full spectrum, left, right, middle, whatever. Yeah. It's just we see the extremes of both sides 24-7 because yeah. that's all they ever show. Oh, yeah. And controversy and fear and everything is what's going to sell. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Only thing they're going to show. They, they yeah. make money, man. That's what they do, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's very true. I mean, if it was all about, hey, this is how we get along. I don't know who would watch. No yeah, watch. it's yeah. like, well, yeah. I know the resolve of this episode. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, this one ends. I'm feeling depressed at the end of every time I watch the news. Yeah. I should I, watch more. I should, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, like an addiction. No, it's like I an can't. anxious addiction sort yeah. of something. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. exactly what it is. Yeah. I really want to watch that couple go on. You said they were on the Joe Rogan yeah. podcast. Yeah, it's good. Well, I think that's such a, a good interview potentially mm. because they seem like very open people. And yeah. I'd, I would say Joe is also very open. Oh, Joe yeah. is probably like one of the most open people in America. He'll have yeah, anybody so. on. Literally, he wants anymore. to be one of the first people to get the chip that Elon's talking about that's like in your head. He's up for that? Yeah, wow. he's literally he said is. on multiple occasions, he's like, yeah, I want to be one of the first people in line. And others are like, dude, you're crazy. Maybe like 20th. I want to <laughs> no, Number one? No. No. Yeah, he says, sign me up. That's just wow. crazy to me. Like, I couldn't fathom having something electronic in my body. Well, I didn't, wait, can we, yeah. is it all right if we sidetrack a little bit? Yeah. I actually didn't hear about the I Elon ship thing. I what is this? No, Elon's I want to hear try- about this. Now, about I don't ask. know if, if he's trying to develop it at all yet, but the theory is, is that we will eventually all have chips in our brain because that will be the most efficient method of getting work done and social situations like fa- making it faster. It's basically like having a phone in your head. I, oh no, eventually we'll get, yeah. I don't know how long it will be until we get there, but I do believe yeah. that we will eventually get there. And I think so too, sadly. I mean, I don't, I just don't think that's healthy. You know, you got to have that yeah. separation. And in a very real sense, I, it's scary. But, you know, he he thinks of it as more of like, you know, hop on the train now because it's coming. That's his view. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I get it, but I would never do that. I feel like it depends on how it could be used because everyone talks about stuff when they introduce these. What? No, I was just surprised. I'm, I'm curious what you have oh, to say. Well, I was going to say like at first. Say it. Everyone, <laughs> everyone's going to like... <laughs> try to use that as like oh well this could help people think better or this could cure whatever oh, but yeah, yeah. it could also very easily because it's technology it could influence the way you think about stuff because we're influenced by everything right now and this isn't even in my head oh, yeah. but what, yeah. what we see it influences people oh, yeah. so I feel like they're going to try to play it off as like it's just I, good for you oh I think so <laughs> so many companies already do that to where did you guys hit, well I don't know if I should bring it up but did you guys hear about the Instagram thing no no, I mean, if this needs to be cut out, we can. Okay. Uh, but with Instagram, it was actually just proven uh, to where Instagram, they've been pushing uh, like pedophilic things on, yeah. on Instagram itself. Really? Why? Like actual pedophilia. But like, it's not that. like, oh, it's not even like the person's 17 or whatever, which would be bad enough. It's like actual <laughs> real yeah. pedophilia that they've been pushing on that's, Instagram. That's real. And everything. No, it, it's real. It was confirmed. You can see Elon Musk, I think, even t- tweeted it out like, you have to look at this. That's insane. Uh, no, it's just like, God, and that's Facebook. just my point with that. It's <laughs> just like, you don't think, you think of Instagram as just, oh, I can hop on and I right. can like see my like friends and like, oh, their vacation that they took or like, oh, my favorite celebrities day to day life or whatever else. And I mean, part of it's yeah. that, but I mean, it's, I'm not saying that that's necessarily Instagram's or Meta's intention, but yeah. regardless, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh no, another thing to that point <laughs> is too, like, 
they'll use that just as a way to influence people by what they push out, like what yes. is algorithm wise. And then it makes you feel like this is the mainstream idea because this is all I'm seeing. Yeah. Even though maybe only 20 or 10% of people think that it's just the only thing getting pushed. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So and that's I deal. think they did another study, not with Instagram, but also with TikTok also. Uh, they had a focus group uh, sign up under accounts, uh, of younger kids and they started mm. liking certain posts uh as they go through the for you page that were a little bit more depressing yeah. oh. and it found out that you know the more you watch it the more that you like it it actually like starts getting into some deep dark depression stuff like it'll complete yeah. Is that tiktok yes. or that's tiktok tiktok yeah and if you watch that endlessly you'll start to believe it and that's almost a form of brainwashing it kind of is. Oh, all media. It's like a... Yeah. Well, not all. Yeah. No, it really is. But back to the chip. I would have to know the intention <laughs> behind well, the company. Well, here's all it would take. Software update, and then it completely well, changes exactly. the yeah. no, that Well, plus, the, my whole point in bringing up the whole Instagram thing is even if they say, like, oh, this is the purpose of this, and, oh, this would never happen. We would never use that. Yeah. I don't trust it for that. Because, I mean, you even hear about things like, oh, the Titanic, the unsinkable ship. <laughs> Obviously, we know how that ended up, but that's what it was known as. It was known as the ship that literally could not be sunk. <laughs> Honestly, the first thing that comes to mind with the chip thing, y'all seen Kingsman? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. I have. Yeah. That that could be so was it, real. When was it the scene in the, was it a church? Yep. Yeah, that Yeah, that was the infamous scene. To where, oh, yeah. yeah. Explain. Oh, Kingsman. There was like this whole, the Kingsman is a spy movie. Spoiler oh. incoming. Um, basically, there was this evil guy who was like wanting to plot against the world and he was like hey here's fully free cell phone chips you can make calls mm. whenever you want free free blah 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 just put it in your arm and then eventually he ends up mind controlling people to all kill each other and there's a scene in a church <laughs> where like heads are blowing up people are like murdering each other it's in the deep south so everyone's caring <laughs> <laughs> no it actually is kind of a graphic scene it's, I mean, it's, really it's actually graphic. shot pretty well like they did a great job with it but it is also oh. pretty graphic yeah, like yeah. the guy kills someone with a cane dang yeah. it was, it's one of the yeah. most well shot scenes in any movie I think just the production at least yeah. in terms of like a fight scene or a coordination and I stuff. I don't yeah. even know what you yeah. call it that but yeah at least in Camera terms work. of one of those type of scenes oh yeah because wasn't it, it was there were some cuts but there were a few long takes in there I think yes yeah, I don't really horrible. remember it now I saw it a couple of years ago but oh, yeah. uh, in what scenario if any would you be comfortable with a piece of technology being on I, you? I wouldn't do it in I any whatsoever wouldn't. no I in, wouldn't and I know that a lot enemy? of people uh, and I know that a lot of people don't believe that, which is fine, or believe this, which is fine, whatever. But, I mean, it also kind of talks about in the Bible, in Revelation, to where we'll get there one day and to where, oh, well, all of a sudden, like, money won't mean anything more and it will just be, like, and it kind of seems like it would be something like a chip or at least something similar to a like chip. Like the mark of the devil or whatever. Yeah, kind of, yeah, mark of the beast. Uh, and there's mm. there's just some stuff like that to where it obviously doesn't say microchip in the bible <laughs> word but, for word yeah. yeah it doesn't say that word for word but i mean it kind of implies something similar to that so just to me i i don't trust it no matter what it is it could be you do this you save every kid from world hunger and the world become like you have world peace and whatnot i'm like i do not trust it especially when yeah. people say I'm like oh well this is the best again with the titanic and it can never be sunk i think the Oh, what was it called? The blimp that blew up the Hindenburg? Like, oh, the oh. Hindenburg is like this indestructible whatever thing and then end up blowing up. Just To me, whenever someone yeah. promises and guarantees that something cannot go wrong or will never go wrong or whatever, to me, that's almost a guarantee that at least given some time, it will 100% go wrong. I have yeah. one situation in which I would Blockchain? implant some... What? Oh, sorry. Never mind. Never Did mind. you say blockchain? I thought you were going to say with the... Never mind. I thought you were going to say... Uh, right, oh, else. no, 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 no. I was going to say the only reason I would ever put a chip in my body or something like that is if it could... Like, if, like, say I developed Alzheimer's or something, like, if that could cure it, yeah, sure. Or if I if there was a chip that could cure my ADHD, you better believe I am doing that. I have it bad. It is bad. 
What'd you say? Yeah. Bad. What'd you say? <laughs> no, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't focused. I was so. hyper focused on that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was um? What was that lyric that we heard from the Post Malone song last night? That was so funny. Tanger. Oh, Man-er. there's that. And then just randomly, it's something about a tangerine. Tanger. Yeah. You gotta hear this Post Malone song. It's kind of yeah. funny. It's good though, which is weird. Did you have anything on that or? I don't know. I was gonna say like. When y'all think the world's just going to blow up? <laughs> but, I don't know, uh, man. Again, eventually. I think that, I actually think that there is a good bit of time, whatever a good bit is in your opinion, that has to pass before we actually get there. But I think it definitely will get there one of these days. I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't think, you know, I'm sure there's always been a point in history that people have thought, oh, this has to be it. Mm. Fall of Rome. Um, yeah. World War II. Uh Gosh, so many world events that you no, anyone some could Some people easily... think World War Three if it's on the horizon with the Russia Ukraine stuff. Yeah. Like people yeah. think it could be now. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. Like we could, you know, we could get drafted. You know, whatever. Uh, anyways, I don't yeah. know. It could literally be at any time. Literally. literally, literally. I go to war and I'm just, you know, making people uncomfortable left and right. Oh. <laughs> cool. They're like Presley. So what we're gonna do is that you're gonna be a spy Sitting on the in. other side. <laughs> you're gonna be a you're gonna be a spy, and we're gonna put you on the other side. But the thing is, you're not gonna like you're not gonna give us intel. You're not gonna fight. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna make them so uncomfortable they that they call off the whole mission. <laughs> No, I could just imagine, like, Presley's going to be in the trenches with, like, a whole bunch of other soldiers, and you're like, do you know that lasagna is just spaghetti flavored? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what? <laughs> Die. Yeah, gets shot. Gets, you're claustrophobic. Gets distracted. You're fine with the brain, <laughs> with your yeah. brain inside of your skull. That was awesome. Yeah, it was a little hat. I like that. I'm playing with Layton Jr. You did it. Which is a, and Zach like, messed it up. I did mess it up. I was going to say, in the only positive scenarios would be to fix things like Alzheimer's or say if you were going blind and it could just like teach your cells how to regenerate or something. Yeah. And robotic AI eyeballs. chip that yeah. reteaches our cells to regenerate? Not necessarily an AI chip. I don't know how they would do it, but a piece of technology that would allow your eyes to know how to heal themselves because the information i've heard or read genetically is still you know you were born with the ability to see let's say but then it deteriorates over time the oh. genetic information is still like in you to, so it like to know how to build signals that. to the cells or oh. to whatever yeah, needs to, to regenerate okay hmm. does that make sense yeah but at that point i feel like we're I don't know. It's hard to draw the line of when we're playing God. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah, ultimately, yeah. he is the author of life and death. If you're looking from a Christian standpoint, I understand maybe some people don't look at it that way. But, like, for instance, I know that there are some people who won't do certain surgeries that could be life-saving because it has, mm. like, pig intestine or something mm. that they're using for the surgery, you know? Yeah. Like a pacemaker because God's going to beat my heart. Exactly. That kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm the only well, thing that's going to beat my heart is God, not <laughs> that <laughs> Miss Cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm gonna stuff my body full of crap, but I ain't letting any pacemaker beat yeah. my heart. Yeah. That's where I, I draw know. the line. It's just that kind of debate. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I get what you mean. Uh, I will say, at least in terms of things like that, in theory, if it could only be used for that and couldn't for anything else, I mean, I wouldn't trust it. Yeah. But in theory, if it could be just for that, then I mean, I guess I'd be for it because, I mean, like, if you save someone from cancer that was going to kill the person, is that you playing God or is that just you able to save the person well, from cancer? Well, yeah, take it back to medicine at all. Yeah. yeah. Playing God. True. Like, should you use medicine if you're going to take it to that extreme? True. Yeah. But then also, yeah. God did put it on the earth for you to use it. Some people God, believe that... it's only a holistic standard for medicine. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But if you think about it, uh, the technology and the resources we have was resources that were given to us on this earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the Bible talks yeah. about being sober minded. I wasn't sober when I got my wisdom teeth taken out. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Man. medicine use, and you're Forgot- not sober. I haven't even talked you're about not that. You're sober. What? I haven't even talked oh, yeah, about that. Was yeah, you need oh, to yeah. talk. You need to talk. Uh, on laughing gas and yeah. IV sedation. Well, we know where you're going. Hell. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Hell. Let me tell you something. I've, this is a quick sidebar. I've never been on drugs. I haven't been drunk. I've never been put under for anything. The only surgery I ever had was when I was two years old, and I fell on, ironically, now that we're talking about religion, church steps. 
brick steps, busted oh. my head open, and had Ooh. to have stitches when I was two. Besides that, I've never had a surgery. That laughing gas was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they put like I, a... So uh, walk man. through it from a sober-minded person. <laughs> All so, right. Okay. You, what does that feel like for you and how great did it make man, you feel? I don't know how to describe it. I just... It was like... Uh, I don't know. You just feel good. <laughs> You just feel good. Uh, okay, the IV didn't like you're floating, bother. or because you said that I asked you about the IV because I didn't have that. Whenever I got mine done, they just stuck an IV. In right, it. right. You no, had it before yeah. the IV. So they take me back there, and I'm just. It all happened honestly, so fast. I, I knew if I started thinking about it, I would make myself nervous. I'm like, it is what it is. I got to do this no matter what. They got to come out. So they call me back there, uh, lay down in the chair. Lady's going over some information. So I lean back, they put this tube over my nose, and then they start... Mm-hmm. Uh, smells funny, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah it smells it's, like... Uh, it's like... Uh, like fruity um, rubber, is how I describe fruity it. Fruity rubber? Yeah. Fruity exactly rubber. like that. Yeah. And then, uh, at first, I don't feel it. I'm not... Like, you know, they say, well, we can back it off at any point. If it's too much... You know, they... they, they They're re- talking to you. Yeah, going, they really yeah. did a good job. But I think, looking back on it... They kept talking to me and asking me little questions to kind of just see when I went out. Uh, oh, I think that, so, yeah. To see when I would stop responding. So, yeah, like Layton was saying, they put me on the laughing gas, and then they stuck me with the IV. It was, it was yeah. the same for me, because I had because I was actually, Lucky. I was very nervous yeah. going in, and I had to where they're like, all right, Evan, like, uh, count to ten, like, you know, how some people do, like, oh, one sheep, two sheep, or whatever, like, going to bed. They had me do that, but then I got to ten, and I was nervous, because I was still awake and everything. I'm like, oh, gosh, and I, like, I was still just still, but I kind of started panicking. They're like, just do it again. And I'm like, uh, okay, but I didn't get through the second time. Oh, uh, well, yeah, see, so I, I think that was their version of instead of asking me little questions, they, yeah, that was their way of kind of telling when I actually went out. Okay, interesting. Well, I don't remember, I don't think they had me do that. I think they were just trying to see when I would stop talking, but I kept, I don't know, it was like going to sleep or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, no, that's, that's that is very like insightful. when you go, you know. <laughs> It's almost like they call it being put to sleep. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're not dead. Let me explain myself. <laughs> so rather than it being like a acid trip, you know, uh-huh. it's like you're laying there and you're just waiting to be unconscious. It's like when you go to bed, you just lay there, pretend to fall asleep until you're actually asleep. You yeah. don't know when the cutoff happens. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. That's what I, meant. <laughs> I, I know what you meant. Well, what's funny is I relate so much to this because I'm the same to where I've never done drugs, never been drunk, never been put under for anything except for my wisdom teeth. And I remember it was kind of terrifying because it went from yep. me counting sheep to all of a sudden I was on my couch and I think I had a sonic milkshake with me. And I think oh, they wow. said it might have even been not quite the next day, but like a lot of hours passed or something like that. You don't remember? I there was I remember nothing in between. It and was that's so terrifying. The best to me. thing. Zach was there. Ever. Zach was there. I mean, this guy comes out of surgery, and again, I remember he's nothing in a from wheelchair, this. and he is thanking every nurse <laughs> on the way out. He said, th- "No, this what is nice guy. I, I love you. I love you. This was awesome, though. I had to do this." He said, "Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you." Can't thank talk. You know, it's the golf. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, you're great, man. I love you, Jack. Thank you. You, you, you good. <laughs> you good. <laughs> he, was so, he was just thinking it. He was so lovey dovey. It was hilarious. Oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah, I remember nothing from oh. that. I again went from counting sheep to I was on the couch. A hmm. sonic milkshake appeared in my hand, and I forget exactly how many hours passed, but there was like, I think at least like six hours minimum yeah like wow like wow. I, there was a long gap to where i do not remember anything well maybe i'd be good on drugs because i was perfectly conscious when i woke up wow it was probably the most boring experience for everybody else i just woke up it was like waking up from a nap it felt like 15 minutes apparently i was out for an hour <laughs> but i remember all of it and i could almost walk almost perfectly i wasn't loopy i didn't make a fool of myself i didn't say anything weird <laughs> i purposefully thought to myself in the moment don't say anything because while it sounds logical now, 
You were just on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. were just don't, on drugs. Don't make a fool of yourself. Everything is logical when you're on drugs. Yep. <laughs> I remember when I came out of surgery from my arm that that was like, I don't know. It was I, I was conscious, but I don't think I was weird in any way yeah. necessarily. I remember the bed was way too small for me. It was funny because, like, my grandmother walked in. She's like, could they not have gotten him a bigger bed? Like, my feet were hanging off the end. That was how small yeah. it was. Actually, they don't make beds that are bigger than six feet. Really? No. That's you mean in really the hospitals? Strange. No, I mean just in general. You can get twin, king, queen, full, whatever. I like an I'm pretty sure. King. They might. There's Maybe. actually a lot more kinds of beds than we realize. I don't know if there actually ever, are now. Like my Alaskan stepdad, king, a California king. There's like. Is there a Canadian king? I don't know. Yeah, because I was gonna kings. say. I mean, my yeah, stepdad's like six three, six four, and he has a bed to where his feet won't hang off. Oh, so. Really? Yeah. I was wondering how tall people survive. How do you think Chris sleeps? That's a good point. I don't, He's I don't think he does. six nine, six the ten. The whole whatever. room is a bed, I guess. He <laughs> sleeps like a bat. He just yeah. goes upside down on the <laughs> yeah. way. Oh my god! No, because then his head would touch the floor. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it would. <laughs> All right, so this is badly explained video game. Same thing as a movie and TV shows, but this is for the gamers out there. You know. All right, you ready? Mixing it up. You. You That's know. what we do. You know. All right. This game lets you take on the role of Jesus while soaring through the air. Yeah, but it. what they don't tell you is that sometimes wiping out hard enough will get you into the hall of meat. Okay, I had, meat. Him, oh, I had him in the first Now half. I have it. I thought it, was, I thought it was originally Assassin's Creed. Oh, that's Because I thought, like, in the air, like, you know, when you oh, yeah. jump off, like, the tall building, you go into the hay bale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was that. I now know what the game is. Yeah. But, yeah. I got no idea. I thought it was Minecraft with the yeah. first part of it. Oh, well, yeah, I, um, too, I don't think the... they've played this game. They probably haven't. Oh. Uh, this is, how do you even explain how this game? How do you explain it without giving it away? I don't know. There's a lot of very specific sports, air quote stars. Is this a Wii Sports game? No, no it's not no, Wii Sports. It's, it's, it's Wii an sports. actual sport game. But it's, it's like, not what you th it's not like what you think of. It's not like baseball or basketball type sport. It's something and it's not like weird like rugby. It's just one of those like extra things like rock climbing or something. Hunting? No. Fishing? No. Give the description again. Okay. For him. There the reason I say <laughs> sword of the air like Jesus is cuz well, oh I'll, no, I yeah. I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's very popular in this game. So, this game lets you take on the role of Jesus while soaring through the air, but what they don't tell you is that sometimes wiping out hard enough will get you into the hall of meat. Wiping out hard enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that part is the part to where it will probably give it out or wipe. give it away. What can you wipe out? Wipe out the video and game. Bowling? <laughs> wipe out the pins? I, did, I, I mean, know. no. No. Wipe out. I, I see what you're saying now. What does no. wipe out mean? Wipe out. Where do you wipe Fall out? Of me. Do you remember that show Wipe Out? That was such a yeah, good show. It was. Yeah. Oh, oh so do you know how in Wipe Out a lot of people fall over? Fall over. Is it a zombie oh, game? No. By wiping it. out, you may be falling over. Y'all just say it. Is it. You got it? Fall guys? It's, no. No. It's, it's skate, skate three. three. Skate oh. three. Yes. So in the game, there was this really popular thing that people can do where you hold your board out and you look like Jesus while you're like in the air. You the yeah, you're like you look oh. like this. T pose. Yeah, it's oh yeah, it's almost like T posing through the game. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's Thank a good game. At first, I Thank thought you. it was Assassin's that was Creed, good. but then when I heard good. when that's I heard good. Hall of Meat, I was like, wait, I remember now. Yeah. yeah. So what's the Hall of Meat referencing? Oh, so there's this thing that you can do. I think it's a specific game mode, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Or it could be out th throughout the whole game. But you literally try to break as many bones as possible. Uh, no, I think it's a specific game mode. Because I think you get like somewhere between like one minute to five minutes or something like that. Yeah. And you like have to jump off like a cliff or whatever. And you have to try to break as many bones as possible. Because that's the thing in this game. Yep. What's funny is it's not graphic at all. It's just... It's just... It looks... It's hurtful. just funny because they go to like... It almost is like an X-ray something that they show. Yeah. To where it shows like, oh, oh this bones. bone got injured or this bone actually snapped. Very graphically. I remember that now. Yeah. Obviously very graphic. All it right. was nice. a lot Late of fun. one, Tavius. All right. Senior. This one. The third junior. Shout out to Shmev because he actually did this one for Shmev. me. Oh, nice. Last night. All right. I'm not going to say. I almost said the name of it because he actually <laughs> puts the title of it. I'm okay. not going to say. Oh, I almost said the name. <laughs> As a very hungry man, you search through a maze in search of pills and avoid death. 
Yeah. But there's no way out. Yep, I know it. Nintendo? No, but it is a classic. Yeah, it's a classic. No way out. Can I get it one more time? Is this a high score kind of game? Yes. Yeah. As a very hungry man, you search through a maze in search of pills and avoid the death. I got but it. But there's no way out. Got it. Yeah, the part is, it's not really I like a man. That. I mean, I it like is. That. It is yeah. a man, but it's not oh, a it. That's yeah. good. Yeah. No, very, it is a good one. That's good. Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Or, you know, if you it's will. 2023. What about Miss Pac-Man? Pac-Woman. True. What about Pacadamia Nut? It's like the same game. Except one. Oh, it's the exact same game, I think. Just slightly different. Pack they. Pack they. Pack they. Pack. 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 That's great. Oh, I love that. Okay. Uh, my turn? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Wait. I just want to say this. It is so satisfying to watch you drink water. And I don't mean that in a weird way at all. It just is. Hold on. Can you do it one more time, Let's, Zach? Can you put your all mic right, everybody, to... Everybody, everybody put your mic just, to Layton. Yeah, just... Yeah. I tried uh, to make it a little extra noisy. For well, you uh, everybody at home, so sorry. Don't know why we did that. I actually Our made it really really noise. the why weirdest we moment of ASMR. <laughs> I like oh, how all three mics, the too. Power. <laughs> the power. Uh, kid with anger issues does the electric slide while his dad, James Earl Jones, has breathing issues. Oh. Is this Star Wars it Battlefront? Is. It's not Battlefront, Republic. but it's Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars old, something. The Old Republic? No. Knights of the Old Republic? I forget the name of it. It's the new one, isn't it? Star Wars no? Jedi Survivor? Mm -mm. It's not the one I've been playing recently. Star what? I don't oh. know the exact name of it. It's is definitely it Star Wars. Fallen Order. We used to play. He's like not a Jedi. He's like not a main character. He's like an anti-hero. I forgot the name of I it. I don't know the name of it. Oh, Star, Star Wars, Wars uh, Force Unleashed. Force uh, Star Wars yep. Force. I never played that. That one. was a fun game. There Surprised were two we got of them. Star Wars so quick. I know. There's there's been back multiple wow. Star Wars with you. That was not on purpose. Yeah. All right. Just got it on my brain. All right. So with mine. All right. So I have Baby. a twelve year old with a sword tries to save his kind of girlfriend from a pig, centaurs, and even lizard people. Got it. And at one point, our courageous hero even takes on the moon. Zach's got it. I got it. I don't know. Minecraft? I no. Twelve-year-old with the I had, sword. I had to do. I had to do this one. Is it Final Fantasy? No. Legend of Zelda. Yes. What? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. No, I'll give it again. Whoa. A twelve-year-old with a sword tries to save his kind of girlfriend from a pig, centaurs, and even lizard people. And at one point, our courageous hero even takes on the moon. I know absolutely nothing about that right, game, no, but I've seen a picture. You know. so oh, yeah, from all that. the Legend of Zelda games, there's one called Majora's Mask, and it's literally that. Uh, I mean, time can get like time can get reset, yeah. but you're literally racing the moon because the moon is going to come oh. destroy the world in three days. Wow. So it's actually like you look up Majora's Mask wow. Moon, and it had like it almost has like an evil moon face on it. Yes. It's actually kind of funny. Interesting. <laughs> nice. yeah. no, it's a right. thing. I knew I had to throw one in there just because Legend of Zelda. There's been so many games, and there's so many descriptions you can do with that. All right. You ready? Yeah. Just got this one. Like, okay. literally just wrote it. And I'm already so you proud guys. of it. Okay. You ready? All right. As a master of their craft, this person takes on an entire army while having Cortana. Oh, okay. Nice. An entire You already got it? Well, I had it because of the end, because he said Cortana. I accidentally said the name. I meant to say chat GPT. <laughs> It's Cortana? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Cortana, that is. Cortana, so now like, I know what it is. And they don't even know it. Wow. Yeah, sorry. I ruined it. I probably ruined it for y'all, too. <laughs> I meant to say chat GPT. Oh. That's really funny. No, that would have been a good description. That would have it been still good. is, but Man. it would have been better with Dang. chat GPT. Well, should I just say it? it if they don't know, or should I uh, let them do this? I thing? mean, they definitely know this game. Oh, you I know think... the game, but Cortana? I mean... Is that the name of it? No, that's not the name of the game. I don't know what you're saying. Um, English? Covenant. <laughs> It's it's a oh. shooter. No, I haven't played it. A giant ring. Lord of the Rings. Surrounding a planet. Think of specifically Xbox. Exclusive. It's been around since the original Xbox. The Art of War. Nope. I don't know. Um, what do angels have? 
Wings? Halo. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. I'm so mad at myself. That was so good. I know, because I had to think about it, because I was like, oh, what is this? And then you're like, Cortana. So I'm like, oh, yeah. Dang. I meant to say chat GPT in their helmet. I was so mad at is myself. Is Cortana like a character in that game? I yeah, it's actually okay. a very important I haven't character. played Halo. Yeah. It's been on my list. I don't know how I missed it. I've been reading a lot of the lore about it lately. I didn't know how in-depth that game was. It's really cool. Right. I think it gets pretty in-depth. All right. Cheese you man. Ready? Pointless jobs get interrupted by an intervention full of friends and a ton of lies. Is this that old bully game? Oh, um, no. deal or no deal, the video game. No. That would be fun. <laughs> if you actually did that, I would love that. Oh. Wait, can you read it one more time? Yes, please. Yes. Yes, please, you're going to. <laughs> Pointless jobs get interrupted by an intervention full of friends and a ton of lies. Friends. This friends, isn't like... lies, pointless jobs. Or tasks, if you will. Tasks. <laughs> Girls just Is go, this... <laughs> Could I have played this game in the 90s? No. This is... I think basically it's one of those games when it came out, it wasn't very popular. Then a few years later, it's all recent. And a few years later, it became popular. Now it's not as popular as it was just a handful of years ago. Okay. So is this, but the, so this isn't like an arcade game or anything then? It's not art. No, but it has a very simplistic style. Okay. Is this a side scroller? Do you know what I mean by that? Side scroller, like or Mario. like a two D scroller type game. Oh, well then, yeah, yeah, it is. It is I like a two D scroller. It's two okay. D. You're on a map. Undertale. As, no. Hmm. Think of the pointless tasks, and then also there's an intervention. <gasps> I and got I think, it. Oh, that's so good. Thanks. I came up with this. It's one not myself. a side scroller. It's it's oh, a two no? D game, but it's not a side scroller. Okay. It just the map as you discover a new area, it'll like you know track your character and you'll go through this area. I don't think of that word before? he said. Tasks. 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 Wait, is this, this a game I've played? Snakes? Yes, this and, is a game we've all played together. Yeah, and it's a game that you play with friends. It's because got if you don't, very popular. Oh. If you don't play with friends, it's not very fun. And there's an intervention <gasps> all the time. Oh, yeah. I have never played this with you guys. That's I good. so desperately want to play this with you guys, and That's we've good. never done it. We would absolutely Ooh. die playing that game. I would. Yeah. That would be so much fun. That would be so much fun. So should we say it on three? Yeah. One, One two, two, three. three. Among, Among us. Yeah. Among us. That's a game. I never got to play it because playing online by yourself is, is it's boring. It's not even remotely fun. No. But when you actually have like a group of friends that you can play privately and you can yep. have like the group chat and everything, yeah. then it's, oh, it's so much fun. Like, I think we played it with a couple people on Xbox, one or two on PC, a guy on a Switch, someone on PlayStation. A mobile phone, a phone. maybe. I, yeah, a couple phones. If we all get together one night, I would absolutely love to do that. We should yeah. do it tonight. We have a lot to do tonight. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta, get, we gotta get dinner. <laughs> we gotta get a movie. I'm we gotta watch the Theo Vaughn. We gotta watch the Theo Vaughn hot ones. <laughs> Fight Club. <laughs> Fight Club. I'm hearing that we don't we hang out. We gotta make though. a freaking thing. I know we don't. I know. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a month. I, I know. I'm, I miss you guys. I've been. We miss to you too, baby. No, that was that was a good description. Right now, that was good. Gosh, that was good. All right, the man with the great beard. Ah. Oh, great Me? one. Yeah. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Suck it, Zach. It's not a diss at Zach. You're just, <laughs> you've always been known as the bearded one. If I'm going to diss Zach, I'll diss Zach. Uh, yeah. For the other hair issue. Um, Shady Kid teams up with Bowser and a turtle to steal from, around, from, to steal from those around him to pay homage to his family legacy. I stuttered. Okay, so it I can't be it. Mario because you obviously said Bowser. This is right? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Nope. Dang. All right, let me say it without the stutter. Can I get it right for the talk? Shady Kid teams up with Bowser and a turtle to steal from those around him to pay homage to his family legacy. This video game, very underrated. You really don't hear much about it anymore. What genre is it? It's like uh, it's a single player story mode. Hmm. Okay, but I'm saying, is it like an RPG or is it like an action or shooter or? It has to do with a dragon. No. 
Oh, it's not Spyro, yeah. I was going to say No, that. but that's a good one, too. Oh, it's yeah, kind of on that same level. Like, not everybody has played it. Love Spyro. Um, could I have played this in the year 2000? Yes, easily. Okay. okay. Like, mid-2000s So this is especially. an arcade game. It was a PS2 game. Oh, a PS2 oh. game. Oh. Or Xbox <gasps> 360. Spider-Man. Game. Dang. And it's not it's not Batman, right? No. Okay. Is this superhero? I didn't think so, but... No, kind of like anti -hero. Okay, I'm thinking, what oh. can be Bowser? So Bowser, it has to be either like a turtle or a like kind of weird dragon something. Well, there's those are his like uh, teammates. Dude, Bowser so and the like turtle, Goomba? like Goomba, two separate or something? people. Uh, Shady okay. Kid. So there's three people. Shady Kid yeah. teams up with Bowser and a turtle to steal from those around him to pay homage to his family legacy. What in the world? Wait. You is this, might know this wait, game. Can I say it if I... Yeah. Think, is this Over the Hedge, the video game? No. No! Oh, I, I so remember that game. kind of fits, though. I wow. Dude, Over the Hedge, that was the very first video game I ever got on Xbox. Anyway. Would this be M or T? Or is it E? I think it's E. Oh. Maybe T at most, but probably E. It's M. It's kind of meant for kids, like... Say like early teens, I guess. Man, this, I like the description, but I, I don't know it. This sounds like something fun. You've it played does. it. We played it growing up. Is this an. No, you said a single player. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Layton's world just blew. Just, wow, Layton's uh, world. Just lit up. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I know it. And so when you know it, that, that's. Is there I'm, any other hints? <laughs> when, oh, wait, yeah. Zach, you're in the music industry. File a complaint. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> This guy. Just with the ninety-eight. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, was, what was the first part of your description? Uh, shady kid. Shady. Here's another word. Sneaky. Sly. Door the video game. <laughs> he just said it. Wait, Sly? I didn't even hear it. Sly. Sly. Never. Yeah, that's part of the. Must not have played it. Yeah, I haven't oh. played it. You want to say it? Sly Cooper. I don't even know what that this is. I don't know it. Really? I don't know it. There were like three There's games three made out of this story. It's it's a great game. Huh. Let me. Well, Extreme, I'll look up Sly Cooper later. But. Extremely underrated. But, oh, huh. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah. Do you have yeah. It's a, for? yeah, it's got a great story. I kind of like the character art. Oh yeah, the art looks really good for. It its almost time. reminds me of. Uh, oh, what was the name of the. Uh, of the space fox, like Fox Falco Wolf. What was oh, the name of that series? I didn't play that. I didn't either. I know, what you're I know talking it from about. Super Smash Bros. Is how great yeah. storyline. I'd be interested to play it and see how it holds up nowadays. But that's kind of cool. It's definitely not backwards compatible. Like it's not yeah. popular enough. Yeah, it's not, yeah. You'd have to get. It. Well, well you cool never though. know if it's if it was at any point on Xbox, you might be able to go back and download it. That's was, true. Was it PlayStation only? It Probably. might have been. I think PlayStation so. Two was right around the town time Xbox One, or Xbox original uh, came out. Yeah, roughly the same. I think it's off by like what a year, maybe, but it's, it's roughly the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alrighty. So for this one, a child falls down Mount Everest, but is saved by a satanic flower and mama goat. What? <laughs> If I played this, I highly doubt that any of you have played it, but I think you all should at least have heard of it. Niche Say it game one more time. It's it started out as a niche game and it blew up and it's actually now considered like one of the maybe like fifty best games of all time. But no, Say it's, it again. A child falls down Mount Everest, but is saved by a satanic flower and mama goat. I have no <laughs> idea. I have no idea. What's funny is that, no, but what's uh, funny is that I'm literally just describing the very beginning of this game, so it's not a spoiler. But like, this is pretty much exactly what happens at the very beginning of the game. And it started out as a very niche something to where literally only one guy made the game, but then it blew up into this super popular thing. I, I think have... it came out like 2015, oh. I think is when it came out, somewhere around there. So a baby fell down a mountain. A child, a child falls down Mount Everest, but is saved by a satanic flower and mama goat. That is literally the beginning of it. Mama goat. Is this a literal goat? Yeah. It's like a goat lady. Yeah. What? Goat lady? 
Yes. Some people kind of associate to this game as kind of like, even though it's not really the same, they kind of associate it with like an offshoot Pokemon something. Tetris. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, they kind of, yeah, te- yeah, Tetris, which was released in 2015. Uh, yeah. No, but I will say, I know at least you know the game, Zach, because you actually guessed it earlier for a different thing. Really? Yeah, you actually said the name of it. You've done that a lot today so far with Oblivion? Mine. No. Skyrim. No. Not the not those type of games. Think of more. War. No, think more to uh 2D. It's not a 2D side scroller, but it is 2D. Oh. Um Well at least I d- no, it's definitely not 3D, it's 2D. I said it earlier. It's not Mario. It's not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. It's not overstory. Uh. Undertale? Yeah. Uh, I'm, oh, yeah, that I'm a, game was messed up. I'm guessing that you guys have never played the game because it's just a solo player game. It started out just from this guy named Toby Fox, and mm. he made the entire game. And it started out as this really small niche or something, but then people on YouTube started picking it up and doing playthroughs and whatnot, and like, eventually got to where like PewDiePie and everybody else oh. was doing big playthroughs of it. But it got to the point to where the game was so well made that it's like I looked at a list of like when I was looking to do video games, I looked up top 100 video games from like a recent list and it was ranked at number 20. Wow. So it's a fantastic game. But uh, but yeah, that's also that's it's not even a spoiler to say this. The game literally starts with you fall down a mountain into the underground and you're saved by like this satanic flower. It's not really satanic, but like this really creepy evil flower. And then like uh, a motherly figure that's a goat. Wow. That's literally how the game starts. And then you end up like in a basement and you're just a baby. Right. No. Oh, that's no, no. Not that. All right, anyway. He was describing his own life. <laughs> Zach, do you have one more, or do you just have the two? Because I have one more. You do yours. I might yeah. come up with one. All right. I'm good. If, All right, if I'll, I'll do one it. more, and then, just because I don't know if we'll do video games again. So, okay. A one-handed man with daddy issues tries to save the universe while stealing as many gold bricks as possible. He'll burst into a million pieces several times each mission. Most I got likely. it. I got it. Bricks? I think I got that. I love is this video 2D? game franchise. Hold on. No, it's not 2D. 3D. Actually. It is 3D. Say it, say it one more time. A one-handed man with daddy issues tries to save the universe while stealing as many gold bricks as possible. That's three times today. First into a million pieces. Three times. Several times each mission. <laughs> what? Okay. That's three times today. <laughs> or what has happened? What? He's going to give it away if he says it. Yeah. It is it is the third time. Presley did it twice. Now I've done it once. Oh, it's a Star Wars game. Lego Star Wars. Lego it's Star Lego Wars? Star Wars. Oh. That's a brilliant description. <laughs> Thank you. That's now, the one-handed man with daddy issues, Luke Skywalker, tries to save the universe. But the thing is that in the Lego games, like I have, while trying to steal as many gold bricks as possible, yep. throughout yeah. each of the missions, you're trying to collect gold bricks. And huh. then he'll burst into a million pieces several times each mission. Because when you die, the Lego, like, bloat and, like, your Lego pieces go flying yeah. everywhere. But you have infinite lives in that game, so you can die as many times as you want over and over and over again per mission with no penalty. I mean, you lose money, but there's no actual penalty. You don't get set back or anything. Yeah. So I, I loved the Lego games growing up. Same. It's pretty good. <laughs> Well, I got one. You got a good one? Oh, yeah, you should have gone. Good. Or you got a sucky one. Oh, you or it's all right. Blayton wanted to go last is what it was. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Blonde person. You ready for blonde this? Blonde person. <laughs> this He's your blonde little, brethren. This one's a little edgy. Oh, edgy. It's, it's fine. This is a good old classic game of put it in the right spot. Because if you don't, it'll bite you in the butt over it. time. I got it. Is it Tetris? Oh, yeah, this is Tetris. Yeah, it's Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode. <laughs> it's like exactly what happened last episode. Actually, yeah, it is. It really is. Oh, gosh. Well, I think this was fun just in the sense of not as many people know video games, but it's, yeah. you know, it's... I think we could do this again. Yeah, yeah, okay. Movies is still the staple, though. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 And speaking of movies... Excellent segue, man. <laughs> I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Relay. Uh, if you ever, um, you know, 
have trouble figuring out what to watch. You know, instead of a lot of people don't have cable anymore, flipping through that guide. A lot of people are now flipping through Netflix. Yeah, yeah. we mm-hmm. did that several times just last week. Uh, if yeah. you ever want to get a quick opinion on something, you want to try something new, go over to Relay. Yeah, it's yeah. a great app. We're on there. Check what's, us what's out. y'all's experience with it? Yeah. It's a good experience. If you're trying to figure out what to watch, you just scroll through and see some reviews. You can like follow people that you know. If you kind of line up with what mm-hmm. they, you know, with your interest, and kind of see what their other reviews are before you check out the movie. Make sure it's not a complete waste of your time. It's <laughs> yeah. a it's a great way to figure out whether or not you might like a movie. Oh, yeah. It's almost like if IMDb, Yelp, and TikTok all kind of had a baby, but yeah, they took yeah. like some of the best parts yeah. from each app and they made it's it one good thing. Way of it. So it's very nice because you're like, oh, I've heard of this movie. I wonder if it's any good or not. Mm-hmm. But then you go to look up a review and you're like, oh, this is a million paragraphs. This yeah. was going to take longer to read yeah. than watch the movie. But then you go over to Relay and then there's a yeah. 30 second or a minute long video, something in that range. And you'll have a real person describe to you uh, if they like the movie, some of the key points or not and it's yeah. very entertaining and you get a lot of quick info yeah so anyone, it's, it's perfect anyone can do a review you don't have to be anyone special oh so exactly you get just regular well that people. that's yeah. one of the things that makes it nice because yeah. you have a lot of people on rotten tomatoes who like yeah you Out see so many movies to where it's 100 percent rotten tomatoes zero percent audience score or zero percent rotten tomatoes 100 yeah. percent audience score and you don't know who to trust because you're like yeah. what does this even mean but really oh, helps a lot i know that. who to trust Definitely not Rotten Tomatoes. That's why we use Relay. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah. is why you should download Relay today in the Honestly, App Store or Google Play. Whatever. You know what's whatever funny? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Last time I opened Relay, I went to go look up a movie, and then I ended up playing those games for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I was, yeah they have uh, games on them. I happily got aggravated at the games because I could not answer them correctly. And it was like I knew the movie at the end, and I ended up yeah, being mad at myself. But it's a fun little thing. I forgot yeah. that they had games. The games are fun. Yeah. It'll show you like a scene of a... Of a movie, you got to guess, like, okay, which movie is this? Test yeah. your movie knowledge. Oh, it's tough, too. It's yeah. not easy. Well, they're always making changes to the app, so. Yeah. Uh, and we're on yes, there sir. at The Awkward Tapes. So, um, yeah, I think we got even got a little uh, community group chat started, so. I believe so. Go, yes. ahead, go on there, interact with us, and uh, thank you guys for joining us. For a session of awkwardness. For, for, for a session, session of, 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 of for, for a session all together now for a session of awkwardness, awkwardness. Yeah, we do a that a lot of distortion yeah. okay <laughs> <laughs> all right we all just kind of had the same little look and then put the mic down <laughs> you guys should leave that look in i'll probably yeah.